Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in this tutorial we're going to talk about while loops. Now while loops will continue to run a block of code while the statement is true. So if it's returning true it will continue to run and it will loop and loop and loop and keep going <clears throat> until it runs into a false or until your computer's memory is used up or you turn off your computer. So it will just keep running. Um, and most of the time we want it to eventually hit a false so we're not just continuing to run the program um, but there will be a time in your programming uh, career that you will run into an issue where a while loop will just keep running and I'm going to show you how to get out of that with uh, uh, in your terminal um, but before we do that let's look at the syntax of a while loop so we're just going to create a little while loop and uh, take a look at it. So what I want to do first is create a, vari a variable that represents, or create an object that a variable a represents, and I'm going to do that with a is equal to zero. And then we're going to create our while loop, or um, this could be called the header line or the test line, um, while a is, let's do uh, not equal, not equal to 10 do something so right now a is equal to 0 so while a is not equal to 10 this would return true right and it will keep running and this will run until a is e uh, equal to 10 and it's going to return false and then the loop would stop running so let's take a look at that so we're going to indent two spaces and we're going to say print a alright so we're going to print what the value of a is, all right. and then we're going to do um, a plus equals 1, because we want this to count up over here. So while this, is, this loops through, while this is returning true, which it will return true all the way up to 9, we're going to print a, and we're going to add a number to this variable up here. So eventually it will hit 10. So we hit return, hit return again, and as you can see, we start out at zero, and it looped through, and it came to one, and it printed one, and it looped through, and came to two, printed two, and so on, until it hit 10. And when it hit 10, it stopped looping, and it's, the program stopped running. So <clears throat> now, this could happen, um, if we didn't include this here, and we did this, it would continue to run and run and run and run. So let's take a look at that. Just to show you what happens when uh, a while loop goes mad. A is equal to zero, while A is not equal to 10, print A. Uh, it's still running. So to get out of this, we, if you can see my screen, um, it's continuing to run, 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 we hit control C. And that is a keyboard interrupt in the terminal or the Python interpreter to stop uh, whatever's running. So control C will get us out of the loop. And if I was to scroll up here, we got zeros. We got a million zeros. So that's what happened there. Um, and you can find yourself in a, in a lot of uh, um, infinite loops here. So let's just do one more for the heck of it. A is equal to zero, and we'll do while A is uh, while A is let's do greater than negative one do something, so we're going to do print a, and we'll do a plus equals 1, and we'll run our loop, and as you can see, it's just going and going and going, and I use control C to interrupt. By the time I was able to interrupt it, we had 166,602. That's how many times our while loop ran before I was able to press control C. Alright, so that's that. 
now that you know Control C will get you out of the while loop, um, let's not focus on creating failing while loops. Um, let's look at another example. Let's fi let's find a, the even numbers um, and just print out the even numbers between zero and ten. So we can do just like we're doing. A is equal to zero. Then we do while a is not equal to 10, we're going to do something, and we're going to, on this line, add our number to our variable, so a plus equal is it going to add the number, and then we're going to do if a, the modulo, which is the remainder, when divided by 2, is equal equal to 0, so um, if we did 3 divided by 2, we're going to get uh, 1. So this would not be true, and it would skip this step. Um, or if we did 4 modulo 2 equal equal 0, we're going to get 0, and it's going to run the next line of code. And in this case, we're going to print A. So we get uh, all the even numbers returned to us. Hit return turn and there we go. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Alright, so we print it out all the even numbers between 0 and 10. Pretty cool, right? Well, just like the um, if statement and the for loop, we also can use uh, else. Um, and else is the same thing. When the while loop runs, when it comes to an end and it can't run any longer, else statement will run. So we can do something like um, let's do num equal to zero and then we can say while well, num is less than 20 we're going to add a number to our variable num plus equal one and then we're going to print the variable, then we're going to say else print all done. Alright, so when we run through this while loop, it's going to count up from 0 to 20, and it's going to print it out, and it's going to add a number onto it, and then when it comes, the while loop comes to a false statement. It's going to say else and print all done. So hit return. And as you can see, we started at 1 and we count all the way up to 20 and then it said all done. So that's while loops. And as we move on here, since we're getting you know, a little bit deeper into the Python code, we'll be using while loops, for loops, and um, if statements a lot more. Um, so if you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. We'll see you in the next one.